I'm fairly new to your teachings, but I'm thrilled to have found you and your uplifting message. I'll be 60 years old this year, and this is the first time in my life that I've found peace and happiness and hope. I'm asking for a lot because I want to experience everything now that I know I can. Now, you see, there's a little more urgency there than we are really recommending. Everything that we spoke just before we're reading this was for you. Some very exciting things are happening for me now. My question is about happiness. I'm very happy and excited about my now and my future. But it confuses me a bit because I often hear words from you and your followers like flying high, floating, high-flying disc, exhilarated, walking on clouds. I know I'm happy, but I'm completely missing the mark on where I should. Am I completely missing the mark on where I should be? Is this high-flying just something that comes in time? Or am I already there? And these words are just confusing me. Well, you're comparing your path to others' paths. And you just can't do that. So you are leading us right to where we want to be in the unfolding of this understanding of deliberate creation and of living happily ever after. You've brought us right to this point that we think more of you will hear this time, in this moment, than you ever have before. We've been telling you that you never get it done and that you can't get it wrong. And that's really a part of what we're saying here. But the most significant thing that we want you to hear is that you are where you are and your inner being is where your inner being is. And there is a comfortable place for you to be in relationship with your inner being no matter where you are. No matter where you are in terms of money, no matter where you are in terms of relationships, no matter where you are in terms of any manifestation. In other words, what we're asking you to do Try it for just a little while. Let your caring about things be about what's going on beneath the surface, how you feel emotionally. Let your focus be on your emotional manifestations. Now, you want to say, well, that's exactly what I was doing. And we say, you were doing something different. You were comparing your emotional manifestations to those of others. I don't know for sure if I'm on a high-flying desk. I don't know if I'm exhilarated. I don't know how I am. That person, the way they look, the way they act, the smile on their face, the words they're using, I, I don't know. You cannot calibrate to them. You can only calibrate to where you are. And so, and so this is the piece that we want you to hear. Moment by moment. Deliberate thought by deliberate thought. It only works with deliberate thoughts can't just be the squeaking wheel or the, the default thought. Only works with deliberate thoughts. Does this feel a little better? Does it feel a little worse? Or does it feel about the same? Does it feel a little better? Does it feel a little worse? Does it feel about the same? You see, friends, what you will be doing as you play this game with your inner being with us you will be doing the only calibrating that will ever work for you. You will be calibrating to the awesome trending of your inner being. When you calibrate to what others are doing or how they're responding to you, they're all over the place. They're all over the place. But your inner being is always in that consistent place where you, oh, hear this, where you can know for sure if you made emotional progress with that thought and if you did think more about it and if you didn't reach for another thought that's easier to feel good within does it feel a little better or does it feel a little worse calibrate i'm going to calibrate to my inner being 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 what are the benefits of that? My inner being is who I really am. My inner being is all that I have vibrationally become. My inner being is the beneath the surface manifestation, vibrational manifestation of every quest I have, of everything I've asked for. My inner being is there in that vibrational reality with all of the cooperative components ready to surprise and delight me. There is just no point in ever calibrating to anything less than that. And everything else that you might calibrate 
is calibrating to something less than that. Do I feel a little better? Do I feel a little worse? Have you ever gone someplace that you had decided you didn't want to go, but you just went because others were going and you didn't want to hurt somebody's feelings, so you just went along? And somewhere along this path, your resistance dissolved enough that you had an exceptionally wonderful time. That's the path that your inner being is always calling you toward. In fact, we could say, this is a pretty bold statement. We think you're ready for it. Ready or not. Your inner being is calling you there. Ready or not. It's not just a bold statement. It is the most accurate of accurate statements in all of the universe. Your inner being is calling you toward who you really are and all that you've asked for. And nothing less than that will do. And that is so satisfying. And at times, exhilarating. Emotions feel different. We're going to read from the top line of the emotional scale. Can you show it to them? Look at number one. Joy, knowledge, empowerment, freedom, love, appreciation. You taking them in? Joy. Love. Isn't it interesting? When you think about when you're appreciating something, isn't that a discernible feeling? And when you're loving, isn't that a discernible feeling? Don't those feelings even have subtle differences in the way they feel to you? And yet they are all that highest of high frequencies. Put the chart back up for just a moment. Look at what's just below that. Passion, enthusiasm, optimism, hopefulness. Feel the difference in how all of those feel. Now, your inner being hangs around in all of those from contentment up. And you can too. And so you asked, you talked about someone feeling exhilarated. Exhilaration is what it feels like when you have trended for a longer period of time and more things are intertwining with you. In other words, don't try to micromanage this. Just get somewhere in the vicinity of your inner being and let your inner being call you then to the manifestations that match those frequencies. And we have not said that to you before. So think about where we've been trending in this whole conversation today and how we've been talking to you about there's something beneath the surface, meaning it's not easily or even at all distinguishable to you through your physical senses. Try to accept that. It, it, it is the way that it is. And now imagine or follow us along in this theme that you have given up trying to calibrate to others and whatever they've got going on. You're not trying to mimic their passion or their enthusiasm or, or anything. You are playing the game with yourself. Does this feel a little better or a little worse? A little better or a little worse? Until you have calibrated yourself consistently enough, frequently enough into the into the vibrational set point of your inner being and that, those high-flying emotions. And now, manifestations that are discernible begin to be witnessed by you, by your physical senses, through your physical senses, which is what makes you exclaim words like passion or exclaim words like high-flying disc. In other words, did you hear what we're getting at? You're going to sense it vibrationally and and know it emotionally and then and then the trend is going to be so strong that the bird is going to swoop in and the butterfly is going to come and the cat's going to come up to you and, and circle around you while you're walking and the dog's going to come and lick you on your face and your lover is going to call you and say I've missed you and on and on and on and on the manifestations that you think you need before you are happy will come to you once you are happy 
anyway. And they will come in herds and droves and rampages and sequences and ideas and inventions and rivers of abundance of all manner. 